Hi everyone, welcome to Elementary Math with Mr. Scott. Today we're going to be talking about multiplication. And today we're going to be looking at the different ways that we can model it. It helps us in our understanding to know that we're doing this repeated adding thing, uh, which is what multiplication is. So let's jump into it. Um, the, today I'm going to pick just a really easy multiplication fact. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just choose, let's see, we're going to choose a 2 times 3 here. One way that we can model that is, um, again, this is just kind of a, a model way of, of doing it. You can do circle and stars. You could do a couple of different things. But 2 times 3. So I could make um, some circles. And so we can make two circles, right? And in the circles, I could put, you know, three X's. One, two, three. Okay. And it's kind of a model method of, of doing this, understanding that we're putting these together. So I have this group of three, and I'm adding it to this group of three. And that gives me a total of six X's, right? So it's just a, a way of modeling multiplication, okay? Now, another way of modeling multiplication is what we call an array. Now, an array is, in essence, is just area, right? An array is... Um, a, a model or a rectangle that shows your length times your width. So again, we're using our model of two uh, times three. So I have uh, X's, I have three X's this way, right? I hit return, so I have two down, and then I have three again. So in essence here, I have one, I have two, times right one two three so again i have two times three which gives me six okay now one of the things that the state tests really like to make sure that you know how to do is to be able to do this on a number line okay so again doing my two times three that means I am going to jump two times um, with three at each one. So I'm going to do this in red so you got to see that. So I got to go three, right? One, two, three. So I'm going to jump one time to three. And then I'm going to jump another three, right? So that gives me one jump, two jumps. And then I have one, two, three in this group. And then well, I'll, I'll write that in here. One, two, three in this group, and then one, two, three in that group, right? Another way of modeling. And of course, we've already talked about another way of doing this is uh, two times three is I'm adding two threes, right? And that is my multiplication, my repeated adding, if you want to call it. That's what we're doing there. So these are all different ways to show how to uh, model multiplication. And they want the students to be fluent in all of these different ways. Obviously, you need to know how to do an array because that's going to be area. Area is one of the big things, the big concepts, area and perimeter that we need to know. Um, they also like to use the number lines. They also like to use the models. Uh, repeated addition. All these are examples and ways of showing and modeling multiplication. Okay, so I hope this kind of helps build some more background for you to, to help you understand that when you have a, a multiplication problem, and again, like I chose an easy one here times three, you should be able to model it by circles and X's. You should be able to model it by making an array of it the down times the across, right? How many down times how many across, length times width. 
you need to be able to model it by using a number line and being able to do how many jumps and how many you're going to do each jump. And then you need to be able to do it by repeated addition. So all of these are important models and, and make sure that you are uh, used to and fluently working with each of them so that you can understand it. All right. You guys have a great day. And as always, math can be fun.